only knew I weighed 180 pounds, and my biggest goal was to be over 200. That was like my, my biggest goal. I was like, I gotta be 200, I gotta be 200. And, you know, for me, I just, I started, that's when I started turning down, like, everything I was eating, and how I felt, and how I looked. Um, just because you plateau, let's say, at, you know, 240 or, or whatever weight you were at, doesn't mean that that's a bad weight. Um, at some point in time, we're all gonna hit like certain levels. Otherwise, we'd be like 400 pounds shredded, you know. But the, the biggest thing is, is you know, last year at the Olympia or uh, 2011, when I won my first Olympia, I weighed 242 on stage. This past Olympia, I weighed 240, but I was actually bigger. So it's not necessarily you know a size thing on the scale. It should be more so how you look how the shape of the muscle really is. And if I think if if you're eating right and you're not, you know, over consuming, you know, supplements as opposed to food, like if let's say you're doing like a maybe one or two shakes a day, the rest are, you know, some big meals, then that's fine. But I would personally, if I were you, I'd probably take more photos to see what you look like at 200 pounds your first year and then as opposed to your second year and third year. Because maybe in the essence you're actually bigger than what you notice, but you don't have any, you don't have a gauge yet because there's no photographs of you in that condition. No, well, the thing is, like, from what I've, you know, kind of like research, it's like everybody goes, masses up, and then shreds down. And it's kind of hard to build muscle and mass all together at the same time. So that's always what I try to do. That's why I say I go down to like 174, 175, I'll mass up to 200, 205. So what is your body fat at 205? About uh, 13, 14 percent. Okay, so if you could drop that, if you could be 205 at 10 percent, what would that mean? That would mean you actually gain muscle, yeah. right? Yeah. So that should be your goal, is to figure out a way that maybe you're, I mean, because really, if you're at 175, I mean, I don't personally think you should have to lose 35 pounds at that size. I mean, do you currently compete? I started, yeah. But so yeah, I mean, like, that's one of those things where I don't think at that weight, you shouldn't have to lose any more than 20 pounds. Um, the whole bulking up process, you almost really have to think, am I really being that diligent about what I'm actually eating, you know, every day, like actual clean food, you know, in my off season? Because we all know, like, when we're getting ready for, even myself, like, in off season, I get kind of lax with, you know, the food a little bit. And I know this year, outside of this event, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, more strict because I realize that, if my off-season weight is usually 280, I'm 265 right now, so I got 15 more pounds to go, but like how am I going to get to that point? Because if you get to a soft 200, you know, maybe at 13%, now to get down to, let's say, 6%, you're going to lose, obviously, all that weight. So over time, I mean, it's just, how am I getting up to that 205? How am I getting up there and really writing down, you know, all your macros and then just changing things around? But overall, I mean, I think you just need to really be cognizant on how, how you look because that, that scale is going to be your worst enemy at this moment, you know, and it's something that I think we all, every time I put a weight goal on how, like, people are going to ask me, like, how much are you going to weigh for next year's Olympia? This year's Olympia, if I say 250, I guarantee I'll be 245 and I'm going to be like, damn, I didn't hit my goal. But I still win. You know, I'm still bigger. Like, I, like I did the Shuru Classic, like, a week after the Olympia, I went 239. And I still look bigger than I went before 240. How does that work? You know, it was the food. I changed it. Changed what I could work up with. It's just one of those things that it's like that small percentage of like how food works. Like for instance, like I usually call up on sweet potatoes and uh, red potatoes. Well, I realized that that wasn't working. So I switched to just all white rice for that following week and true class and I looked bigger and harder. So like I'm saying, like that's why I sometimes taking pictures and writing everything down and showing yourself like okay well when I did my last show I was weighing 175 and this is what I ate the entire prep and this is how I looked and that's where it becomes such a science you know and that's where when you get to those plateaus you can look at your blueprint from that previous prep and say this is what I did right this is what I kind of was lax on and then you can kind of pinpoint where you should be at a certain 